Hey guys, here we're going to a uh, video. We're going to be talking about Naoya Inoue's KO of Juan Carlos Payano, uh, which was, you know, a fantastic shot. Um, uh, I thought about making this video kind of funny, being like, Naoya, come from behind victory. <laughs> Knocking out Payano after being outlanded in the, the course of the whole fight. <laughs> but um, anyway, uh, we're going to go ahead and get into it. So this is what everyone saw. You know, Naoya taking the shot, stepping on the inside, shooting the jab, and then landing the right hand. Um, and we're going to kind of talk about how we got there. It's really fascinating, actually. It took me probably like, I don't know, I, like probably like six or seven rewatches, like, because it goes so fast. The camera angle is not that great. But we're going to go ahead and get into the fight. So, as you see here, um, this is very important, probably like the, this is the most important part of this, um, but let's see if you can see it. So Naoya Inoue, right, controlling the space a little bit, you know, he's got his active guard, you know, probing with his lead hand, you see it. Getting in his, his opponent faints, ducking down, but controlling his opponent's lead hand and fainting him, uh, but controlling them with his own lead hand as well. Um, and this is something that he doesn't actually do against right-handed fighters, which is why he, um, you know, why I don't consider him one of the top fighters. Um, but as you can see, he's doing it very well against uh, Payano here. And by controlling that lead hand, he's able to create space. And Payano wants to um, leap forward and come forward against him. Right? He's able to faint him, faint him again. You know. And now what I want you guys to be focusing on, because it's going to be coming up soon, is watch. watch um, and this goes out to you, Fight Scout. I know you like to talk shit because you don't understand the active guard system. But um, watch as uh, Naoya Inoue steps forward, right? When he steps forward, he puts his lead hand out there. Now he's stepping forward, put his lead hand out there. And he's creating a pattern for his opponent, right? Now if you look at this from a different perspective, he's open. Every time he steps forward, he puts his glove out there and he's open, right? He's, he's also created a pattern for his opponent to follow and to pick up on. Um, but what he's doing is he's creating a pattern with his opponent, as you see, boom. And then his opponent tries to break it, right? And then catch him with the shot. Um, but he's able to see that it's coming because he's controlling the space. He's got his opponent to a rhythm, and anytime he deviates from that rhythm, right, he's able to take a step back or do something, you know. And then right back to it, steps, and then almost eats a jab. Step, step, right? And he's able to feint and do his own work as well. But again, Payano not not having the most success, right? And understanding also that because he's controlling the lead hand, it's not a threat, and he's able to come back with an uppercut right there. Controlling the lead hand, controlling the lead hand. And now the same exact pattern that Payano was looking to take advantage of, uh, Inoue is going to take advantage of right now. So he's going to step forward. So step forward, and then notice how Payano tries to control his lead hand. And he steps forward, touches lead hands, steps forward, and then gives him a feint. Steps forward, gives him a feint, and his opponent still controlling that lead hand, even though his hand is not there. Now he steps forward here. Whoops. Steps forward here. Boom. Fakes him into thinking he's going to touch gloves. Steps on the inside, and then lands that straight right hand. Like, just beautiful setup, beautiful execution. Um, and we'll go ahead and watch it again in slow-mo. But he steps forward one more time. So let's see. So he steps forward, touches gloves, step, and then steps forward. His opponent thinks they're going to touch gloves, and he goes on the inside, and then boom. That's a huge straight right hand that you just rarely ever see anybody kind of just fold up and, you know, go straight comatose right away. But um, anyway, um, it was a great shot from from Inoue. It was a great performance. Uh, anyway, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Thanks, guys.